Hello guys, this is Beth Prakash Singh from IIT Consultancy. I hope you are doing good. So in this session, we are going to discuss crane and rigging shape operating procedure or practice. I have prepared one separate module for uh, different hazards of crane and rigging. I would encourage you to, I mean, uh, go through that uh, uh, training program if you wish to understand the different hazards and different risk and different possibility, different severity, different consequences. In this program, we are going to see only for uh, 7 to 8 minutes what are the safe operating systems we need to understand while doing a crane and rigging safe operations. This is about me. We will not discuss line to line. I would request you to go through at your convenience if you are interested in my LinkedIn profile. These are the key exclusive services uh, being provided by IITC to the clients and respected customers. These are the key competencies of IITC uh, team which on which we provide the services to the industry on time to time basis. Guys, IITC take privilege to use this uh, link of the video to train your operation team, safety team, maintenance team, construction team, engineering team, your crane operator, your signaler, your banksman, uh, each and everyone who is involved in uh, risk assessment of crane, uh, um, um, making a lifting plan and, uh, and making a um, risk assessment. So they can go through that. I would also, also encourage to use this slide as a safety moment in your organization so that uh, I mean uh, you can increase the safety awareness regarding lifting, regarding crane operation, regarding rigging and all these things. What we are going to see, what we are going to learn here is we are going to see the best practices during crane operation. We are going to see best rigging practices. We are going to see the what is the color code, what is the meaning of color code. What is the importance of color code? Uh, dear friends, I have a humble request to you. Please subscribe the channel. Our intention is to provide loads of training program in coming days so that you can get everything in advance. And my request is to please send this uh, I mean, uh, link of this program to your professional friends, your crane operator, rigging operator, so that he can or she can refresh the knowledge about the best safe crane operation. See, I mean, uh, best practices for crane operation. Ideally, mechanical lifting should not be started until unless these things are done. First thing, the risk assessment of the lift has been completed. Normally, I mean, uh, there are uh, different kind of lifting, normal lifting or critical lifting depending on your size, load, location, uh, wind condition, weather condition, everything we need to do a risk assessment of the lift. In some organization, they only do the risk assessment only for critical lifting. And there are definitions of critical lifting. What are the critical lifting? Critical lifting means if the liftings are awkward, size are awkward, I mean, uh, 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 I mean uh, weight is high and there is a I mean, uh, need to lift the load from one location to another location, passing through the overhead, uh, I mean, uh, pipings of hydrocarbon, chemicals and all these things. There are definitions for the critical lifting. But I would uh, um, feel that if you are not able to do a comprehensive risk assessment, at least make a, a small risk assessment kind of JSA kind of thing so that you should not by mistake miss anything. After making the risk assessment, see risk assessment must be done in the team by the competent person, by the team, by the crane operator, with the crane operator, by the signaler, with the crane, with the signaler, like this. Lifting method equipment has been determined by a competent person. See, for each and every lifting, there is a I mean, lifting, a competent person is there. He will decide what should be the lifting method for lifting the equipment or piece of equipment. This is very important. Basis of this you can decide whether the lift is critical or not critical and critical lifting definition can also be defined as per the your company procedure. 
नेक्स्ट इज क्रेन ऑपरेटर्स आर ट्रेंड एंड सर्टिफाइड फॉर द इक्विपमेंट सी नेवर एवर अलाउ एनी बॉडी हु इज नॉट अ अप्रूव्ड सर्टिफाइड क्रेन ऑपरेटर ऑलवेज यूज सर्टिफाइड क्रेन ऑपरेटर टू लिफ्ट एनी लोड whether this is a normal load or abnormal load critical load or non critical load rigging of the load is carried out by a competent person rigging must be done by a competent person because rigging is a very intelligent very critical uh, job during the uh, load uh, transfer load lifting and load fitting lifting devices and equipment has been uh, certified for use all the lifting devices like like uh, overload uh, lifting devices like uh, 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 what to say uh, load detection device like uh, angle device everything every safety devices must have been certified and tested before use load should not be more than dynamic static capability of lifting equipment see every crane has got their capacity if we calculate the dynamic and static uh, i mean uh, load uh, load then we should ensure that the load should not increase the dynamic and static capabilities of the lifting equipment otherwise it will fall trip and it can create an accident must be done before lifting operation this is the best practice of crane operation ensure all safety devices installed on lifting equipments are operational tested ensured and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, inspected all lifting devices and equipments have been visually examined before each lifting by a competent person i have a separate video separate program for uh, daily checks for weekly checks for monthly checks for uh, quarterly checks half yearly checks and yearly checks i would request you to if you want to have more information regarding uh, visual examination so please feel free to go through that training program so that you can have complete idea about lifting devices and equipment and what items to be checked before and the crane is being used a trained and competent person has secured the load prior to lifting see securing the load is very critical if you are not securing the load in the right manner then what will happen whether your wire rope will break your wire rope will cut and there will be a poor uh, poor uh, i mean center of center of gravity and this poor center of gravity may create an accident clear communication is established and maintained between all the person involved in the lift this is very important because crane operator is sitting somewhere in the crane cabin and there is a signaler there is a banksman he is able to see everything critical at the time of lifting near the lifting um, uh, process but operator is going to uh, uh, going to listen you carefully and he is going to behave as per your direction so we have to have proper communication so that uh, there is no uh, 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 no barrier in communication so that this there is no miscommunication and miscommunication always create misunderstanding and misunderstanding can create an accident so we we must have proper channel of communication either by radio by mobile or by paga system by pag system by public address system or by any method of communication no one is position under the suspended load between the suspended load so guys this is very important i have seen personally people do not know who are uh, lifting the load guiding the load tagging the load unfortunately they uh, sometimes they forget they are below the load see load is not your your relative or my relative why ropes are not our relatives or friends this can break any time this can this can fall and when it falls no even i mean 100 gram 1 kg load if it is falling from 1 meter or 2 meter or 10 meter it has got different consequences i have another video uh, for uh, a load versus height what it can create if 1 kg fall from 10 meter it can kill you it can kill you so my friend never ever try to sit uh, or understand or stand below the suspended load and never ever you as being a safety officer being a safety ambassador being a construction manager being a uh, operation in charge you should not allow anybody to stand below the suspended load or between the suspended load rigging safety rules these are very important things you can see here there are various uh, tools and tackles which are in good condition 
there are various tools and tackles which are in bad condition. Check limit switches before rigging the load. All the limit switches which are installed in the crane must be checked before using the before rigging. Otherwise, some limit switch may fall and then you, you don't know what is going to happen. Make sure load does not exceed the rated capacity. This is the responsibility of competent person to ensure that load should not exist than the rated and designed capacity of the crane. Otherwise, it will fall. It will swing. It will break. Load the center of gravity of the load. So we must know the center of gravity of the load and according to center of gravity, we must make a tie. Attach load above the center of gravity for the stability. See, right knowledge, right assumption of CG will help you to make the right uh, tying, right rigging so that stability of load is obtained. Otherwise, it will always swing, it will damage your crane, it will, it will change the center of gravity of crane and then probably it will topple up. Select the hitch that will control the load. We have to control the right hitch. We have to select the right hitch which will control the load. Know the rated capacity of the rigging and slinging. We must know what is the load uh, weight and what is the capacity of rigging and slinging. If we are not using the right rig or slinging, probably it will break when the load uh, is getting lifted. Inspect all rigging appliances before use. So guys, this type of hook should not be used. This type of wand is, um, hook should not be used. This is without latch. This is broken chain. This is a disable, uh, I mean damage. This is a fabric uh, rope damage. This wire of damage. So this should not be used at any cost. See the condition. This is how you are going to see. Make sure the sling is well balanced. Avoid the tip loading and loading on the hook latch. This must be ensured that uh, loading is done in balanced way. Avoid the tip loading. No, don't put the load here. Put the load here. Not here. I'm, not, I'm sorry. Put the put the load here. Protect the sling from sharp corners. Normally, if there is a square load, the edge is right angle, and this is very sharp. If you are trying with the I mean wire rope. Probably at the edge of at the sharp edge, your wire rope is bound to damage or your fabric rope is bound to damage. So you have to protect the sharp edge, sharp edge uh, with uh, something so that sharpness is uh, removed. Allow for increased tension due to the sling angle. You have to in, you have to allow for the increased tension due to the sling angle. You have to uh, ensure this one. This has this is the duty of competent person. Equalize the loading on multiple leg of sling. See, you have to equalize the load. You have to distribute the load distribution. Otherwise, probably there will be change of center of gravity and it may fall. Attach the tag line prior to the lift load. I have seen many people, they do not use the tag line. They go below the load and they uh, will support the lift. No, it's not a good idea. We must have on the tag line prior to lift. The tag line is to be used. Uh, before lifting, before guiding, before unloading, we, I mean uh, during loading. Keep personal clear of the lifting area. We must barricade, we must barricade the lifting zone, lifting area so that no authorized access is allowed. Don't lift people and never ride the ho uh, hosting load. Never ever try to lift the people. Actually, I was working in the offshore platform and we used to we used to get transfer from the boat to the platform by the cage basket in that case this cage is certified this crane is certified in that case i mean uh, uh, lifting of the people is allowed to ship the people from the boat from the ship to the uh, uh, to the platform that is the exceptional case but that is after company rule we are hard head well, lift, making an overhead lift. So, guys, try to understand. 50 gram nut, 50 gram bolt, if it is uh, coming down from the 10 meter height, it will puncture your skin. It will puncture your skin. And when it punctures your skin, that means you will die immediately. Hard head is very important. 
and before lifting the load you must ensure that all the loose part of the load is removed there is no loose bolts no no loose nuts everything is to remove and then after you load uh, it start lifting in spite of that you must have hard head during the lift overhead lift load of few inches and verify the rig when you are starting the lifting you you lift the load for some height then you try to see the behavior of your ropes the behavior of your i mean fabric ropes the behavior of your crane the behavior of your load and accordingly you take decision if it is stable things are going good uh, going good go slowly and lift the load yes check for any loose item as i mentioned in previous slide that when you are lifting the load you must ensure that there is no loose part on the load like nuts bolts uh, some uh, some stone uh, some piece of paper some some piece of uh, i mean pipe some piece of equipment when you find anything loose remove it before lifting know the limitation of hosting devices we must respect the capacity of hosting devices if we are not respecting the hosting devices capacity probably load, load will fall wire will break uh, crane will uh, topple up start and stop slowly watch for the observations not only hook and load uh, but outboard end of the bridge that means when you are starting the load you start and stop the load slowly and then you see uh, as you see any obstruction you see not only obstruction you see the i mean balance you see the calmness you see the behavior of the ropes you see behavior of the load everything has to be seen check pathways is clear before making the lift always ensure that lifting path you are you are supposed to decide the lifting path before you starting the load you must know that you lift the load from here and then slowly you are coming here this must be done before you start lifting and the lifting path must be clear always from the pipe from the people from the process from the equipment if in case it cannot be done then you have to have a lifting plan lifting plan has to be prepared it has to be uh, approved and after approval the toolbox training has to be given and after training the person can start lifting verify hook completely closes hook has to be completely closed use appropriate hand signal the signaler has to be trained certified and approved i am not trained signaler that means i should not give the signal because there is different language of signaling if i say like this it is going down you would say like this it is going up so that means i am doing the wrong signaling probably operator cannot properly understand misunderstand and he will create mess maintain load control all the times report suspected drum wrapping immediately if there is some suspected drum wrapping you report immediately never leave the load unattended don't leave the load and keep the load unattended in the hang in the in the air hanging in swinging in the air this can create a problem so appropriate color code is required for uh, maintenance point of view for testing point of view for inspection point of view i would say that there is a color code quarterly basis this means uh, if one color code is there if a red color code for quarter 1 blue color code for quarter 2 yellow color code for color code for quarter 4 and green color code for quarter 4 so i if i am in quarter 1 i must see that this is a red color code in quarter 1 that means uh, it is all are tested inspected and good if it is a blue color code is quarter 2 that means if in, if i am in quarter 2 i need to see from far if it is blue that means all are tested inspected so color code is very useful for inspection it makes our job easier it it gives you a confidence level yes my equipments are tested and good and ready to use display the display the color current color code at appropriate location so the people know that this color code means this quarter or not inform all concerned about the color code everybody in the area in the involved uh, activity must be know, must be knowing that what is current color code so that he will understand that equipments are safe and is ready to use uh, guys i mean i hope uh, you uh, you enjoyed uh, the presentation and it was useful for you 
with this uh, i have humble request to you kindly subscribe the i mean channel so that you can get the latest update on time and please feel free to send this link to your professional friends screen operator signaler so that they can also get benefited we also provide lot of training programs online lot of certificate programs online there are many diploma courses available diploma in safety diploma in environment diploma in uh, offshore safety diploma in petrochemical diploma in refinery diploma in oil and gas diploma in pharmaceutical diploma in chemical industry so i would request you to please take a tour of our website and uh, uh, see what is useful for you guys this with this i request you to please share your comments in the comment section uh, i am very thankful to you and thank you very much for patient uh, full uh, hearing with this thank you very much uh, jai hind jai bharat